laying down my pillow paint, which is Glinden Premium in Base 1 Satin Sheen found at Home Depot. Okay, and now I'm going to be doing something different. I'm going to be using a strainer, which gives this really crazy cool feather effect kind of thing. I really am liking it. I've never used it before, but I like it. I think I'm going to start incorporating it more and more. It's definitely different. <laughs> And for the colors I'm using, um, I'm, I got these interesting iridescent paints for my birthday from Amazon. They're not the best. Um, it's like His, Hisco brand, I think, but there were a few colors that were kind of cool. So that um, coffee color there, that coffee brown is an iridescent from that pack I got. And then I just put down Artist Loft's Deep Magenta. Right here is a crazy iridescent blue, I believe, and then a little bit of my American float, or I'm sorry, Australian Floetrol mixed with titanium white from Amsterdam. This is the purple that I actually liked from the iridescent set. Uh, it was really pretty. And now I'm just going to do a quick little swipey swipey of those crazy coffee stains I put everywhere just to blend it all together. Okay, and now I'm going to be adding my favorites, the fluorescence. That's this little piggy's Inferno, um, which is their fluorescent red, this little piggy pigments. And then I believe I have, I have Techno, which is uh, their fluorescent yellow from this little piggy pigments. Hustle, which is their fluorescent magenta from this little piggy pigments. I love those. Oh yeah, and right now I'm just adding some more of those rando um, iridescence I got from Amazon, but this is the, this is Hustle from This Little Piggy Pigments. So cool, so vibrant. I love them. They're so pretty. Okay, now I'm just going to add some random iridescence again. This one is dragon, dragon fruit, I believe it's called. Um, 
I like it. Like, again, these, the colors that came in this pack were okay. They just weren't as, you know, iridescent mm, and sparkly and shiny as I would have liked them. And definitely very, like, watery. They didn't have a lot of body to them, which I know we essentially want our paints to get liquefied, but in a very specific way. You want them to be, like, this stretchy elastic where you can almost, like, draw with, with like, the drizzles off your stick, you know? Okay, now it's time to swipe using Amsterdam paint mixed with Australian Floetrol. Okay, now this is what it looked like when it was wet. And now this is what it looks like dry. This one's definitely a crazy one, as all of mine are, but I like it. I'm really liking this strainer technique, using the strainer to get those feather look. So I'm gonna keep trying that out, but definitely made me feel like it was something stable. So that's what I'm looking for. Okay, and now for my silly TikTok. It's fun.